Hi, this is Susie Allen, founder of Birdie Bam Mahjong. Thank you for taking a few minutes today to learn the basics of this fun and exciting game. The first thing you want to do when you start playing Birdie Bam is create an account so you can accumulate points and feathers each time you win and play with other Mahjong fans. First, tap the log on icon that has the pretty little bullfinch bird next to it. Tap create an account. Enter a username that will be displayed when you're playing with others. Next, enter your email address. Enter your password. Confirm your password. And finally, tap create an account and you're all set to go. We're back at the main screen. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll notice the username you created is now appears. When you tap on the little icon with the head, your profile appears. You can easily change your profile setting. To change your profile picture, tap on the little pencil that's next to the panda bear. Below that, you'll notice there's feathers, one, and points earned. Each time you play Birdie Bam, whether you're in single player mode, playing with friends, or random match, you accumulate feathers and points for each win. Next, let's take a look at our settings icon. In the upper right hand corner, click on the little blue cog. You'll notice there's a link for the Birdie Bam website as well as our frequently asked questions. The first frequently asked question has a link to print the list of Birdie Bam hands. There's also a great quick reference guide for new players and a complete list of the Mahjong rules. Let's print the Birdie Bam hands. We scroll back up to our first frequently asked question, click on the link, and here you'll see our wonderful hands. This is designed to be printed on eight and a half by 11 paper, and you'll notice we have little scissors there where you can cut each sheet into a third. Staple it together, and you're all set to go. Feel free to use these hands not only when you're playing Birdie Bam online, but when you're playing Mahjong with your friends. Feel free to print it as often as you like and share it with all your friends. Now we're back at the settings screen. I really don't like to hear music while I'm playing games, but maybe you do. To turn it off, just simply tap it and it turns to red. I leave the sound effects on so that when a tile is discarded, I can hear the name of the tile. We're back at the main screen. Now you'll notice there are three modes of play. Single player mode is when you're by yourself and you just really want to wind down for the day and get your Mahjong fix. You don't have to be connected to the internet to play in single player mode. There's no time limit so you don't feel rushed to hurry up and figure out what hand you're going to play or which tile you're going to discard. It's a great way to sharpen your Mahjong skills. Once you've added friends, it's fun to play with them online. We'll go over this momentarily. Random Match is a really good way to meet other Mahjong players online and have a great time playing Birdie Bam. You may even decide that you want to add them as a friend so you can play with them regularly. Let's take a look at adding friends to Birdie Bam. In the lower left hand corner, you'll see a blue icon with three people. Tap on that. We're at our friends list at the very top and it's empty. We need to add our friends to Birdie Bam. So click on find new friends. You can either enter your friend's Birdie Bam name that they created or you can enter their email address. Tap go. Your friend's Birdie Bam name will appear. To send them an invite to be a friend, tap on the blue circle with the person and a little plus sign. When you tap that, you'll notice the friend invite has been sent. When your friend receives their invite, a red exclamation mark will appear on the icon Friend Invites. It looks like I have one now. Let's go take a look. My friend with the Birdie Bam name, MJ Fan, sent me an invite. To accept the invite, I simply tap on 
the little blue check mark next to the MJ fan profile. Now when I go to my friends list, I see that Birdie Bub and MJ fan are amongst my list. Let's add one more friend so that we have a group of four to play Mahjong. I'm going to type in Apple, SJI. Send her a friend invite. Once she accepts it, I get to go back to my friends list and I see I have three friends. Now one thing I do want to mention is anytime you don't have enough friends to play with friends, say you just want to play with one other friend, that's great. The robots will make up the difference. I'm going to initiate the game. When I click on play with friends, I can either go in fast mode or slow mode. In the beginning, you may want to keep it at slow mode. And if you look on our frequently asked questions, we tell you exactly how many minutes and seconds you get for these different uh, features. A list of your friends will appear. Once your friends have accepted the invite, you'll see they all have a place at the table. Anytime you're hosting a Birdie Bam Mahjong game, you need to make sure you stay within the Birdie Bam app or else everyone will get kicked out of the game. You're ready to roll, so let's hit start game. Birdie Bam Mahjong follows all of the rules of American Mahjong. The dice is rolled to see who's east. The game table loads up with all the Mahjong tiles. And the dice is rolled to see where the wall is broken. Once the tiles are distributed, you'll notice a single tile in the middle of the playing board. It shows that there are 99 tiles remaining to be distributed. I really like this feature because as we go through the game, I can tell how many tiles are left on the wall and what my chances are of getting the tile I need for Mahjong. You'll notice a pop-up box that says Time to Review. Take a moment to select your target hand from the above menu. A list of the bullfinch hands automatically appear. Notice the blue bar at the bottom of the list. This is so you can scroll through and look at all the Birdie Bam hands. Well, how do you know what hand you want if you haven't sorted your tile? Super easy to sort tiles in Birdie Bam. At the bottom of your screen, next to your profile, you'll see the red sort tile buttons. When you tap sort tiles, they're automatically sorted for you. Or just simply take your finger and move them around in whatever position you like. It's important to note that just because you select a hand, it does not impact the gameplay. The computer doesn't know which hand you've selected. Simply having bullfinch hands in the application is a convenience factor. You'll also notice at the very top of the bullfinch hands list, there's a little green circle with a timer going off. This reflects how much time you have remaining to select your hand. I think I'm going to play Keeping It Simple. Keeping It Simple is a hand where you need four pungs and a pair and one suit. For today's demonstration purposes, I want to use this hand. This is the easy, one of the easiest hands to win. And also, I really like this hand for newbies or children. Teaching them how to play Mahjong with this one simple hand is a great way for new beginners. If you want to go back and review a hand or maybe change your hand, simply click on the little bird with BB hands. Once all the players have selected their hand, it's time to get started with the real game. One of my favorite features of Birdie Bam is that it keeps us in line for the Charleston. You don't have to worry about where you are or what step takes place next. Just follow the instructions on the screen. Again, you can sort your tiles by pressing the red sort tile button or just simply moving the tiles to the position you want. To select a tile to pass to the first right, tap a tile, it gets raised off your rack, tap a second tile, tap a third tile. If you change your mind, just tap the tile again and it will be placed back down on your rack. If you don't select your three tiles to pass within the allotted time, it will take the three tiles to your far right and simply move them over. Now we're ready to pass three tiles across. Again. Easily sort your hands, 
tap the three tiles that you want to pass across and tap submit. Once all the players have decided which tiles they want to pass, they'll automatically be exchanged. For our first left, we know that we can choose from zero to three tiles. Select the number of tiles that you want to pass and hit submit. If you only choose two tiles, Birdie Bam will automatically take that third tile from the person on your right and automatically pass it to your left, so you don't have to worry about it. If you don't want to pass any tiles, simply tap the submit button. Now we're ready to do our optional second Charleston. Remember, just like with regular Mahjong when you're playing at a table with your friends, if anyone wants to stop the Charleston at this point, they can. So if you don't want to stop the Charleston, tap the green check mark. If you do want to stop it, tap the red X. Now we're going to select three more tiles to pass left for our second Charleston. And now we have our final pass to the right. Again, if you don't want to pass any to the right, simply tap the submit button or choose one, two, or three tiles to pass to the right. I love the way Birdie Bam handles the, the Charleston because I never have to worry about where we are. And lastly, we're going to do our courtesy pass with our player across from us. Select the number of tiles you want to pass. Then select those individual tiles to pass across by tapping on them. Tap the submit button and once everybody's decided how many they want to pass across, we're ready to go. Now we're ready to play Mahjong. As you know, East goes first and discards the tile. Simply select the tile by tapping on it. It gets raised off your rack. Tap the red discard button. If you don't discard your tile before the green timer runs out, the tile to your far right will automatically be discarded. And now the game continues. You'll notice the green timer moves from player to player, so you always know whose turn it is and how much time is remaining for their play. Ah, look, North wanted to take the South. See how the tiles are displayed to the right of North's hand? And one is even a joker. You're going to learn more about that shortly. Oh, look, a seven crack. I'm playing keeping it simple and I need four pungs and a pair. I currently have one seven crack and I also have a joker. So just like in real Mahjong, I could take that seven crack for a pung. Now, 
I don't have to worry about defining the joker right now to be a seven crack. Birdie Bam will automatically match it up for my pung. I simply tap the pung button and all three tiles will be placed to the right of my rack and the joker is automatically defined as a seven crack. Fantastic! I have a six crack. I'm getting closer to my winning hand. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Oh look, I've got a seven crack. This is fantastic. Well, I'm gonna swap out this seven crack for my exposed joker. This works exactly like it does in real Mahjong. I'm gonna tap the swap joker icon. The box pops up and says, choose which joker you wanna steal. If I had multiple exposures or if another person had exposed a joker, we just tap which tile we want to take that represents that joker. Now I've got a joker in my hand and I can define it to be whatever I want. Well, guys and gals, look at this. I'm gonna define my joker as an eight crack and I'll have Mahjong. Simply tap the red define joker icon. A box appears with all the Mahjong tiles in it. I'm gonna tap on eight crack, tap define, and guess what? Susie has Mahjong. All I need to do now is tap the little red Mahjong icon and I'm the big winner. I love winning the beautiful colorful feather with Birdie Bam Mahjong. You'll notice that the hand that I'm winning with is displayed for everyone to see. Additionally, all the other players' tiles are laid flat so you can see what they were playing. I encourage you to play in the single player mode when you first install Birdie Bam. It'll give you the opportunity to become more comfortable with the features of the game. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to go to our website, birdiebam.com, and check out our frequently asked questions for more training tips. We'd love for you to join our Facebook group, Birdie Bam Mahjong. Good luck, and may the feathers be with you.